So, a nation of whingers, is that what we've become? Well, have we? Because this is the claim from uh, Tony Shepherd, who's the head of the Commission of Audit, who says that people are whinging in relation to the, particularly the Commission of Audit's findings, that if we're going to be trying to get our budget back into some sort of semblance of order, cut back on the amount of debt, his recommendations are the way to do it, and if you don't like it, you're a whinger. Is that what he's saying? Yeah, but I, I might accept it from anyone but... Tony Shepard, who's quite a very wealthy individual. He, until recently, he was the head of the Business Council of Australia, which represents that very small percentage of top tier companies in Australia. He's from the top end of town. And I don't know whether or not you can put a lot of weight in the mm. fact that the man who chaired the National Commission of Audit and made a lot of sweeping recommendations, far tougher recommendations than what were eventually accepted by the government mm. in the budget, I just don't know if he's a true has a true feel or a barometer well, for how the Australian public is feeling. I just don't believe we're a bunch of whinges. Yeah, but if you're a senior business person, the history of Australia over the last 20 or 30 years is that business has consistently whinged that government's not doing enough for them, that government isn't providing them with enough assistance. They are probably the biggest and most consistent whinges oh. uh, on public policy. So if, if that's their track record of constantly whinging, takes one to no one, doesn't it? So yeah. you'd say, well, I'm seeing the rest of the community now whinging in the same way we've been whinging for years. I just think it's a little bit condescending as well that you would have someone representing that top end of town telling ordinary Australians to stop whinging and whining and shut up and basically trying to pretend that they're JFK uh, and channeling JFK's famous speech, ask not what you can, what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country. Well, I'm sorry, but I, I don't see that out there. Most Australians I know uh, go to work, they work hard, um, they try and look after their kids, they get them into school, they run two cars, they're trying to cope with a mortgage and in Sydney, they're trying to deal with the uh, road tolls as well. They're not whinging. They just get on with their lives. Yeah. Look, most of, most of the complaints have come from a couple of things. First of all, uh, people are saying, well, with Medicare, uh, it is going to take a big whack out of our budget if we're going along and having to pay that $7 co-payment, because in Sydney particularly, uh, bulk billing in some parts of the city running well over 90%. And the truth is, when you listen objectively to this, the blowout in health costs has not come in GPs. It's coming at, at the next level where you've got specialists and hospitals. So they're tackling the problem at the wrong end there. And the second thing is people who are losing very generous parenting payments like family tax benefits, which were introduced by John Howard, who was saying, well, and he still says this now, he says that they weren't introduced to as a welfare measure, they're introduced to assist families raise their children and do the things for their kids and particularly to allow those families to to free from having to work uh, for some part of the week so they can do the parenting that we all agree is absolutely essential. So how about we do this? Let's bring in some really stern measures cracking down on blind family trusts. Mm -hmm. Let's do a big crackdown on negative gearing mm -hmm. and all that property investment in the market. And then let's listen to the whinging. Yep, <laughs> there'll be a bit of it.